course, we have a new process here uh, in Tennessee. We had what was called the Tennessee Plan for a long time when the governor appointed uh, a judge. That person was sworn in and went to work. But in the fall of 2014, Amendment 2 passed, which for the first time, I am the first justice or first appellate judge to go through the uh, legislative confirmation process. So <clears throat> this all started with an announcement on July the 24th that Justice Wade from Sevier County was going to retire. And he submitted applications. It's a very extensive written application, a lot of background. I'm sure you have access to that if you want to look at it. But those were due on September 12th. And uh, I'm sorry, October 12th. Nine people applied from all across the state. And we went to Nashville and the uh, statute requires for a Supreme Court position that the interviews be in Nashville, uh, even if it's just a West Tennessee or East Tennessee position. And nine of us were interviewed for an all-day interview each, and it's in public. There was an 11-person commission that, you know, they look at the applications and ask questions. And unfortunately for me, it goes in alphabetical order, at least it did that time. I think they do reverse every other time, but being a P, I was the eighth out of nine person to be interviewed, so I had to wait from 8 o'clock that morning till I think I started being interviewed at 10 after 4. So that took about an hour, and then that group goes into deliberations, and they choose three nominees to send to the governor. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky enough to be one of those. And then, I believe on November 23rd, the three of us interviewed with the governor's legal counsel first, um, all together for about an hour. Uh, that's Dwight Tarwater. Okay. And then uh, the deputy counsel is Ashley Roberts, and then uh, Todd Skelton is, is the assistant deputy counsel. And at the same time, after interviewing with, with those individuals, I went for a 30-minute interview directly with the governor, okay. just the two of us, sitting in chair just like we are. He didn't sit behind his desk. He always comes out and just sits across in two chairs and very personable and tries to uh, put a person at ease, but it's, it's, it's hard to be at ease when you're talking to the governor. But uh, we just had a conversation you know it's a typical interview like you know uh, why do you want this job what do you think you'll bring to it the typical interview questions one would have and it seemed like five minutes you know it's also because they, they're running on a strict schedule and somebody comes in and says okay time's up but uh, he could not have been nicer I went through the process and when I got the phone call from the governor it was really surreal because it's interesting that uh, uh, normally when we get called from the governor's office it, it says blocked and <clears throat> what the lawyers and judges who apply for these positions will tell you that the winner gets a call from the governor and the loser gets a call from the governor's legal counsel to explain, you know, sorry, it went to somebody else. So I was walking around the hall up here and my cell phone rang and I looked at it and it was not blocked. It's a, it a Nashville number and I said, well, I guess I didn't get it. I'll be a gracious loser. So I kind of straightened my shoulders and answered the phone thinking it would be Mr. Tarwater mm -hmm. and it was the governor. <laughs> so I was shots. They don't always call from a block number. I think when people become judges, you, you put that aside, decide the case on the facts and the law. Of course, I, as I said in the legislative committee meetings, of course I am a conservative and I look at the Constitution like I think conservative, conservative jurists would, so I do bring that, but every case that comes before our court, I think all five justices, regardless of any background, political or otherwise, you look at the record, you look at the law, you do what's right, and that's what I'm going to do on this court. And talk about the the honor that is now. I mean, you haven't officially.